Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. A church you can call home. Where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all of you, all of our NBC uh, family. We want to welcome all our visitors that are joining us by audio and video. So good morning and God bless. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. If you ain't rejoicing and being glad, we got to lay hands on you or you got to get saved. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Don't worry about the situations. You know, if you haven't cast it on him, it's time to do. Give it all to him. Why are you still holding on to it? He says cast it on him. Give it all to him. Amen. So, mm -hmm. praise God. Amen. Amen. So, allow the word of God to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. We've been talking about following Jesus. Amen. Faithfully Amen. following Jesus. Uh -huh. And today's message is going to be about, are you available? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you're following him, are you available for him yeah. to use you? And we're going to be talking about this. We've got a good uh, story about this, good scripture about it. And uh, take notes and uh, see what, Lord, <laughs> you're going to bless me. And I ain't going to let you go. You've got something for me. Yeah. Amen. Every time we talk, you know, mm -hmm. grow from it. Amen. Don't be the same. Change. Amen. Change is a good thing. Amen. Yes, Before we do that, let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. If you're not, like I say, you need to get saved. Amen. It's time. It's, it's, it's been too long. We're going to be talking about being available to him. There you go. Are you available? Are you available to him? Because you know what? He wants to use you. Yes, he does. And we need to be full-time uh, believers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Serving him full-time, not just part-time. He's not looking for part-time kids. He's looking for full-time kids. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He wants to use you. And God will use you if you make yourself available. Yeah. So the problem is not on his part. The problem is on our part. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Because a lot of times we see ourselves as not good enough. Mm -hmm. Because the world has bombarded us with this family, friends, whatever, they bombarded you with, you're not good enough. Mm. And we start to listen to these things and, and we let it get to us. Remember, yeah. we've been talking about the battlefield is the mind. Yes, it is. Amen. The battlefield is the mind. So you got some negative things in there you got to clean out. The Bible says yeah. to renew your mind with the Word of God. And if you don't, these thoughts are going to be there all the time. Yeah, yeah. So you have to control that you got to delete that negative stuff amen you got to have a winning attitude have a champion attitude see yourself the way he sees you amen. when you get in the word you start seeing these things i say well i never saw myself this way well it's time it's about time you make the change amen the problem's not on his end it's on our end we need to know the truth the bible said the truth is set, set you free yeah. i'm thinking the way he wants me to think I'm thinking the way the word is telling me to think and believing those things mm -hmm. and making myself available. Are you available? Yeah. Be or be available to him. Amen. If you want to, you can start working your way over to our text. Our text is going to be Luke chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. Amen. And this is where Jesus calls his uh, first disciples. Amen. Luke 5, 11 and 1 says, look at the end results, the salvation of souls. Uh, verse 5, 10b says, And have no fear. From now on, you will be catching men yeah. and not fish. We see that even with a small or a smelly uh, old fish boat and broken nets, Jesus used what Peter made available to him. And this is it. What do you have to make available to him? The main thing is yourself. Remember, he bought you. You're bought with the price. He bought you. He paid for you. Jesus paid the price. He was sacrificed for us. And he bought us back. Amen. So when you see these things, you say, Lord, here I am. I'm available. Use me. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he's going to come knocking. So you uh, be ready. So in the ministry, 
of availability God has a ministry for every one of his children not just the apostle not just the prophet not just the evangelist the pastor or the teacher which we call the fivefold ministry but every one of us amen and we're going to be looking into some scripture uh, let's open our Bibles to Ephesians verse uh, chapter 4 verses 1 through 15 I'm going to read it to you from the New Living Translation so you follow along in your Bible amen and I want you to catch this okay because Jesus said he gave us these gifts. What, what are these gifts that God has given us? You know, sometimes we have negative attitudes about some of these uh, gifts that God has given us. We got to get that straight. Yes, because he gave them to us. Yes, he and he put them there. And he get, gave the calling. Amen. Yes. He says in Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 through 15. New Living Translation. Now these are gifts Christ gave the church. Mm -hmm. Christ came to church. Yes, he He's given it to us. And what were they? The apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher. Yeah. So you know what? If you don't have anything good to say about pastor, mm -hmm. if you don't have anything good to say about the apostle, the All prophet, right. evangelist, pastor, or the teacher, mm -hmm. you take it to God. Yeah. But you know the main thing you need to do is pray for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. They are being Amen. judged at a higher level because yes. they have people they have lots of people amen so you pray for them instead of saying negative things mm -hmm. say positive things see a good in them and not a negative thing mm -hmm. amen it's time we change the way we think because these are gifts from christ it says christ gave these gifts to the church who is the church mm -hmm. we are the church we're the We are the church, the body of Christ. It, it's time we learn, church. It's time to grow. It's time to mature in the things of God. Amen. Their responsibility is to equip uh, God's people, believers, to do His work and to build up the church, mm -hmm. the body of Christ. Amen. This will continue until we all come to such a unity in our yeah. faith and knowledge of God's Son Amen. that we will be matured in the Lord, mm -hmm. measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We need to grow up on a daily basis. We can't be baby Christians the rest of our yeah, lives. Yeah. We got to grow on a daily basis. Amen. How do I grow? Open the word. Amen. He said, well, he never talks to me. When was the last time you opened the word of God and read it? Amen. We need to open it up and read it. Amen. Mm -hmm. We got to get it in us. Woo. Hallelujah. We won't be. Um, let me see where I left on here. <laughs> immature children we won't be tossed and, and blown about by every wind of new teaching be careful because there's a lot of people out there saying hey there's a new thing you know hey the bible's one thing but there's a new thing if you hear that ask for scripture if they don't have scripture <laughs> just forget about it yeah amen we just don't go running everywhere there's a meeting because yeah, somebody yeah. has something new that's it. No, there's nothing new. That's this it. is the good news. This is the gospel, the good mm -hmm. news of God. Amen. And uh, there's no every wind of new teachings. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so yeah. clever they sound like the truth. That's it. Amen. It sounds so real. Mm -hmm. It really. Do you have scripture for it? Mm -hmm. Well, no, but brother and sister so and so, they said so. Is that right? If they don't have scripture, <laughs> just put it on the shelf. <laughs> Hit the leap. <laughs> yes. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way, uh -huh. more and more like Christ, yes. who is the head of the body. Yes. The church, us. He is yes. the head, we're the body. Thank you, Amen. So guess what he's going to use? The head is going to use his body, yes. us. Yes. And guess what? You're a part of us. So he's going to use you also. Don't let nobody, anyone, or mindsets say that, well, he can't use you because of your past. <laughs> let go of the past. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Let it go. That's it. Amen. The Bible says you're a new creature in Christ. The old is out, the new is in. So you're a new creature in Christ. If he's, forgot, if he's forgotten your past mm -hmm. and forgiven you of your sin, what are you still remembering? That's it. And don't let nobody else hold it against you. It's gone. It's past. That's amen. It. It's time to step out. Yeah. It's time to march on, soldier of God. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. 
I'm blessed. I don't know about you. <laughs> Every believer has a call, an anointing, and an appointment. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. Amen. I want you to know this. You know why you're here? Because you were called. God called you. Amen. God called you, you know. I don't care. Well, I don't want to go there. But every one of us, if you're alive, you have a calling. Yes, if you're not answering your call, mm -hmm. it's because you haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. It's time you do. Yes. You know, quit beating around the bush. You're right. Amen. Quit allowing the enemy to defeat you. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the Bible says he's a defeated foe. Jesus yes. has already defeated him. That's right. So why are you letting a defeated foe, enemy, hold you and hold you down? That's it. Don't, don't. Take authority. Yes. Use the authority he's given us. Amen. Man. Woo, I'm blessed praise already. God. <laughs> Woo, praise God. We all have a part. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible talks. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but we're going to be talking about the helps. Mm. And we all have a part. The Bible says, talks about helps as, um, or the church as, as a physical body. Mm -hmm. This physical body has many parts, but yes, it's only one body. But every part in this body functions together in unity. Yes. And it keeps this body functioning, keeps this body going. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Amen. So, and all of them, they don't compete against each other. Yes, yes. They work in unity. Mm -hmm. And this is what the body of Christ needs to do. We need to work together in unity. Yeah. Amen. It's not about these brothers and sisters are right. And these are wrong. No, it's about us coming together. Yeah. And pressing on. Yes. When the thing. We're fighting the wrong enemy. There's only one enemy. His name is Satan. His name is uh, whatever you want to call him, devil. Amen. But uh, you have a part. You see this body? Every little part, whether you can see it or not, has a part to do. Big or small, it doesn't matter. If you're a little, little pinky or you hit the heart, it's big. No, every part of this body has a part. And you have a part in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So don't exclude yourself, include yourself. That's it. He wants to use you. You just got to let go of control. <laughs> you got to let go of the control so he can be in control. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. Get off the throne so he can get on the throne. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, another one. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go to Colossians uh, chapter 3. Again, I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation. Uh, Colossians. Hey. Are you there? Right after Philippians. Yeah, right after Philippians. <laughs> <clears throat> Colossians chapter 3. I'm going to read verses 23 through 25. And you you need to grab a highlighter. You need to grab a pen, a pencil, something. And you need to highlight these, yes. underline these. Yes. So you can go back and know where to go. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Take notes. Please do. <laughs> Colossians 3. Yeah. Chapter 3, verses 23 through 25. New Living Translation. Work willingly at whatever you do, as though you was working for the Lord rather than for people. Mm -hmm. You know, I talked a little bit about helps last week. Sometimes, you know, when I come to clean this place, there's nobody here except mm -hmm. me. <laughs> and if I let myself, you know, put myself down, I will. I mean, you can because you're the only one here and nobody's here and you're sweating and you start getting upset because... I could have used some help. And nobody here to say, you know, after I clean this place and you do it with a wrong attitude, oh boy. you ain't going to gain anything. That's it. And, you know, tomorrow is Sunday and people are going to come and they're going to come and trash the place up. <laughs> and I can't even think straight because I see these people trashing the place up. Oh, gosh. If that's the attitude, change it. Yes. Because I'm doing it as unto God rather than the people. Yeah. I'm already pleased. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to clean this place yeah. because I know you're going to be here. Amen. And I'm doing this under you and not under people. Mm -hmm. If I do it clean for him, mm -hmm. people's going to be pleased. And if they're not pleased, I'm a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've got other things, you come and join us. Mm -hmm. Come help. Come clean. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Uh, where was I going? Let me see. 24. No, Remember that. The, yesterday. <laughs> 
you know, you settled this so that you would not allow yourself to be taken yeah. off because the enemy wants to see it to it. That yeah. Yeah. you are mad. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you're going to be that way, don't mm -hmm. just don't do it. That's it. Amen. <laughs> Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and that the master you are serving is Christ. Yes. yes. This is what you got to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Whether there's people watching or people not watching. Mm -hmm. Lord, it. I'm doing this under you. That's it. And I'm going to have a, a right attitude about it. Yes. I'm not going to have a bad right attitude about it. I'm not going to let myself, if I start seeing myself going that way, mm -hmm. I say, forget it. Nope, I'm not going there. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Yeah. But if you don't, if you do what is wrong, you will be paid back for the wrong you have done. Mm -hmm. For God has no favorite. Yeah. God has no favorites except me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm his favorite. No. Amen. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> So if you're going to do it, do it as under him. And yes. especially whatever ministry you have. Still, yeah. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Because mm -hmm. people are going to be mad. People are going to curse you. People are going to say mm -hmm. things. Or people are not going to say what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you settle that right now. Get it yes. over with. See? Yeah. I'm not going to let those things move me. Anymore. Amen. So now let's go to 2 Corinthians. We have a few scriptures. We won't keep you long. <laughs> Just, I'll say that so you can just open up. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. We all, we all know these scriptures, you know, but it's okay to know. And like I said, you read them over and over, highlight them, What's underline that? them. Uh, chapter 5, verses 17 through 21. Oh. You know, you know this. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here we go. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to read it to you from this uh, New King James. Okay. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is what? A new creature. A new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. new. So the old is out, the new is in. Yes. And you know, people are going to see you uh -huh. and you look the same. Oh, because yes. they're seeing the physical part of you. Right, right. They're not seeing the new birth. That's it. You had a spiritual birth. You accepted Christ. And I'm a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. And they're going to bring the old stuff. Mm -hmm. And your mind still going to think the old way. But say, you got to renew your mind now mm -hmm. to the saints of God. Yes. And let the past go. Mm -hmm. And 18 says, now all things are of God and who has reconciled us to himself through yeah. Jesus Christ. Who has given us the ministry of what? Reconciliation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bringing people to Christ. They share and share in the gospel. That is... That God has was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed committed us to the word the word of reconciliation. And twenty says, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, yes. as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Yes. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. That we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You're his ambassador. Here on earth. You are somebody. Yes. You got to tell yourself that sometimes. When you're looking in the mirror, instead of seeing all the negative things. Yeah. That's it. Confess the positive things. Mm -hmm. We got a rack over there that's got a, a, a sheet of all kinds of say-sos. <laughs> and I'm going to say the positive things about yes. myself. Amen. Amen. Say all the positive things. You are a new creature in Christ. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm not a loser. Yeah. He didn't put you here to lose. That's it. He put you here to win. That's it. Amen. So yeah. see yourself that way. Yeah. And I'm his ambassador. Ambassador, I'm his mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. So he's the head. I'm with the body. Mm -hmm. But he's going to use us as his mouthpiece Amen. here on earth. How is the gospel going to get spread around? That's it. Amen. Through us. Mm -hmm. Remember how many times yeah. I've told you that we are the closest thing to a Bible some people will never see or mm -hmm. be close to or read. Amen. Yeah. So you are him going somewhere to happen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Now, others serve in the ministry of helps. And we're going to talk a little bit about helps, amen? And I, I just wanted to say this. As pastor, I just wanted to thank everybody involved 
in Amen. the health ministry. Amen. Amen. And I want to read you out a little thing here. And I, I, want, I want you to, to listen. Mm -hmm. Helps us having enough loving people serving. Yes. Pastor can't do it by himself. Amen. Let, let me read this to you. The ministry of Helps is most overlooked, overrated ministry in the church. Listen, every year, thousands of pastors leave the ministry. Most pastors quit because mm -hmm. they are overworked and yeah. burned out. Why? They're trying to do it all by themselves. Mm -hmm. They can't do it all by themselves. We need helps in the church. Amen? And that's where you come in. Mm -hmm. Amen? I, when I found out about helps, I went to my pastor. My pastor. This is where the church, this is the church where God wants me. I went to my pastor. Remember if he's a gift? I went to my pastor and I said, Pastor, What is it that you need help? Where do you need help? I want to help. I, I want to be a part of the helps ministry mm -hmm. to the church. How can I help? <laughs> and he would tell me, you know, hey, <laughs> I didn't go there to say, hey, look, <laughs> I'm the best uh, musician. I'm the best singer. I'm the best man. You name it. I, I can do it. And I just want to volunteer and do it now. <laughs> no. There's always areas where no people, nobody wants to go. And one of them was children's. Nobody wants to be with the children. Amen. Man, they're some rascals, you know. <laughs> and they can have your lunch in a heartbeat. And most of the times when I went and asked Pastor, where, where can I serve? Where can I, how can I help you? He says, we need help in the children's. I says, you can count on me. You can count on me. I'm going to be there faithfully. I'm not just bragging on me. I'm bragging on my God. Mm -hmm. When the doors open, Monday through Saturday or Monday through Sunday, mm -hmm. I'm studying to be ready for them children. If you don't prepare yourselves yeah. to whatever you're doing, you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. And it's not because of him. It's because of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If I'm going to be an usher, I'm going to be the best usher there is. I'm going to prepare myself, Lord. Every time... I'm going to pray, Lord, bless me, Lord, touch me, Lord, anoint me, Lord. Every time I touch somebody, I greet them. Message for you. Our pastors are ready. Amen. So you go in there and you bring your little children over there and mm -hmm. you drop them off and they're going to be blessed. Mm -hmm. And you go inside and you be prepare yourself because the pastor got a, the right message for you. And I want you to be at ease. I want you to be at peace. Man, there's so many things we can do. We set them at peace just to come coming in. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you walk in the church, nobody greets you. Mm -hmm. Nobody's there for you. You just walk in and walk out, nobody even said anything. <laughs> I mean, God does, Jesus does that every time he shows up, you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody said anything. Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. <laughs> Whatever the ministry may be, maybe you agree or greet them, you know, but prepare yourselves. Yes. Because just like the lady with the issue of blood, he says, when I touch his garment, he says, I'm going to receive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to prepare myself. Lord, you're going to touch these people when I shake these people's hands. When I, when I, when I greet these people, you're going to bless them. Mm -hmm. When I'm in here cleaning up, I'm touching these chairs, these pews. And I'm laying here and saying, somebody's going to be sitting here. Somebody's going to sit in this front, front row. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, whoever sits here, I don't know who's going to sit here, but he knows. Bless these people, wherever they happen to sit, whatever their need is, Lord, bless them. Yes. It's a ministry. Mm -hmm. Pastors called up here to go preach, but I'm ministering to these chairs because people are going to sit in them. I'm ministering to the, the cars outside. Lord, bless them. Lord, they need a new car. Lord, they need new wheels. Lord, they need a new, a new, a new overhaul. They need something. Bless them, Lord. Protect them as they drive out. See, we never thought this way. Amen. And the Lord blessed them. The Lord and
not acting so good. They they being different. Mm -hmm. What is it? We want what you got. Mm -hmm. I say, <laughs> you can still receive. Just go in church and start being faithful and coming to church. Amen. And learn how to treat your children besides just hurting them or cussing them or saying negative things to them. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't know why I got our way into that. <laughs> but the ministry of helps, having and up loving people serving in church. You may be an usher, you may be a greeter, you may be praise and worship, singer, a musician, parking lot attendant, nursery, mm -hmm. laying oh, hands on them little children, mm -hmm. on them little babies. You know? Yes. That's all okay. Mm -hmm. We have peace. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You may be uh, in, in the sound system, you may be recording, you may be uh, in the TV, you may be in in, in a uh, camera person, mm -hmm. amen, or you may be uh, in, a, in a food pantry, you may be passing out food, you know, we used to pass out food, and we used to pray over them boxes, every time we got the boxes, we prayed over the boxes, God oh, bless yes. them, bless them, yes. or you have people in line for miles, yeah. mm -hmm. and we would, some of us passing out food, some of us are going around asking them, how can we pray for them? Mm -hmm. What kind of prayer they need? And lay hands on them or lead them to Christ. Doing ministry. It's all about ministry. You know how to spell ministry? Mm -hmm. P-E-O-P-L-E. Mm -hmm. People. That's what ministry is about. And you know what? You can't get away from them. <laughs> Everywhere you go is people. <laughs> so, so you, you, you have to be ready for it. Uh -huh. But you know what? You have to be faithful in what you do yes amen i gave pastor my word i'm going to be there you don't have to worry about me i'll be there amen you got to prepare yourself spiritually not only spiritually but physically yes amen Woo, come on now <laughs> so this morning we're going to talk about the ministry of availability are you available yeah. if not make yourself available nobody can do it for you except yourself Make yourself available. I already said this, but I'll say it again. Jesus made himself available. Him and, and him and the Father, they had a talk. Say, son, I want to talk. I said, well, let's talk, Dad. <laughs> he says, I want to send you. I want to reconcile my people. I want, I want to send you and I want to sacrifice you. And he made himself available by saying yes. When he said, yes, I'll go, he made himself available. Our greatest example is Jesus. He made himself available. And he came, the Bible talks in Matthew, that he came to serve, not to be served. So you just say, well, y'all, he's, you know, he's God. He's Jesus, you know. No, he came to serve, not to be served. Yes. Always our greatest example. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else I have here. Whatever calling God has given you, and He has, if you don't know, it's time for you to know. Yeah. He has. You need it to be available to do it. This is all you can say. He says, Lord, here I am. Use me. And He will. Mm -hmm. you, you don't think so, just go ahead and say it. You'll see. Here I am. Use me. Before God will use anybody, they have to be available to be used. Yes. Amen. Nobody was consistent and mightily used of God in the Bible unless Oh, he says he come knocking but we're not opening mm -hmm. he's calling but we're not answering you know he's sending all these friend requests <coughs> but we ain't accepting mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's time we accept it yeah. and I'm going to give you some examples here and uh, this is kind of like an introduction to the HELPS Ministry, because I want all of you, those that are watching, those that are listening, the HELPS Ministry is a, a supernatural, I'm going to read something to you in a few minutes, but it's a supernatural ministry in the body of Christ. It's a supernatural ministry in the church. Amen? Praise God. Uh, let, me, let me see. We've taught HELPS Ministry for quite a few years. And uh, this is one of our training here, but it talks about what is the ministry of helps in First Corinthians 12 and 20, 27, 28 in the New Living Translations talks about 
Ministry of Health is a supernatural ministry in the church. It is a gift God has set in the church. Members in ministry with one another in one body. No one is more important than the next one. You ever seen a chain link? They link together? Yeah. That's the body of Christ. We're linked together. And we're there to complete one another, not to compete one another. That's it. You know, we bring the world in and we start competing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to copy anybody. You don't have to compete with anybody. We are here to com complete one another. Us working together in unity. Amen. We all have been through. We have all been bought with the same price. The same precious blood that's been placed in the kingdom of God by him. Amen. So the ministry of helps is one of the greatest or gives assistance to service as a, unto God. Amen. We, we read that a few minutes ago. The health ministry is supernatural with its own anointing to serve God by serving in his church. Yes. Amen. You serve pastor, you know. And uh, in the book of Numbers, the people are complaining. Moses got mad in chapter 11. He calls God and he says, I'm ready to kill myself. He said, these people, he, these people, he says, I can't take these people anymore. So God says, choose me 70 people from each tribe. From the tribes, from the 12 tribes. So he did, he brought seven, seven, 70 elders. And God says, bring them, when I meet with you today, I am going to give them the same vision that you have. I'm going to give them the same spirit, the same vision that you have. When you're doing your health ministry, you're doing it under the same vision God has given the pastor. Not your own vision, but the same vision God has given the pastor. And you're helping in the body of Christ. Amen. So, enough for that. But anyway, example Samuel. In 1 Samuel 3 and 4, the Lord called Samuel and he answered, here am I, Lord. Samuel was mighty, mighty used of God. Why? Because he, he became available. Mm -hmm. He says, here am I, Lord. When he, when he said that, he said, Lord, I'm Accept his invite. Yeah. Mary, how about Mary? She was the mother of Jesus. There was thousands of virgins in Galilee, perhaps hundreds in Nazareth, but Mary was one who went down in history. Why? Notice what Mary said to the angel, told her of her chosen ministry. If, uh, <coughs> she says, I'm available. And you know what? You may not be the first one. She may not have been the first one. She might have, the angel might have gone to others. I'm just, this is just me. Might have gone to others and they said, uh-uh, mm -hmm. I'm not accepting that. Mm -hmm. Before he came to you, he could have gone to some, so many else, so many others that rejected it mm -hmm. until he came to you and then you say, yeah. here am I. Mary says, Mary says, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. In other words, she says, I'm available. Mm -hmm. I'm available, Lord. Amen. Be or small. So the end, guess what? The angel departed. <laughs> you know, telling it. He went back to heaven and says, You know, I saw so many people. I'm glad Mary accepted me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus walked perfectly in the will of God. Why? Jesus was available. He made himself available. We need to make ourselves available on a daily basis. Basically, it's saying relationship. It's saying faithfully. You're faithful in the things you do. Amen. As the Son of God, he wanted only to do the will of God. His first recorded words showed his availability. I accept. I'm available. And we're not going to finish this. We're not trying to finish this. I just want to talk some about uh, our availability. Are you available? And talk some about the health ministry. Luke 2 and 49 says, Know ye not that I must be about my father's business? In other words, he's available. What am I supposed to be doing? They went and got him. 
when, 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 when they left. And Jesus stayed back. And he's over there preaching in the Disciples use money. Why? Because they make themselves available. Listen. Twenty-two says, and they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. You know what? Um, let's uh, open our Bibles to our text while we're getting to it here. Okay. Paul, when Paul called him, he was the worst sinner around killing and putting uh, Christians in a prison. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He's also a blasphemer. How could God use him so mightily? Listen what he said after his confrontation with Christ. Remember, <laughs> Paul was Saul. And then he had a confrontation yeah. with God. I mean, he was going again to find Christians and either imprison them or kill them. And guess what? God had enough. <laughs> he, was, he was hit by lightning. And boy, he's finding himself on the ground. And he's trembling and astonished. Said, Lord, <laughs> what will the thou have me to do? Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's got a change of attitude. I mean, God got his attention. He knocked him off his high horse. <laughs> He's on his hands and knees. Lord, is this you? <laughs> what is it you want me to do? Well, you don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> but some of us, you know, like the prodigal son, we want to do our own thing. And he's going to bring us down. You know, he found himself. <laughs> the world ate him up fast. And you know, without Christ, you don't win. That's it. Because we're fighting a spiritual battle That's every it. day. So you need Christ. You need the Word. Amen. He is the Word. And we're going to succeed. Amen. But he says, Lord, what is it you have me to do? He made himself available to Jesus now. But you may say, oh, I'm no Samuel. I'm no Mary. I'm no Jesus. I'm no disciple. I'm not a Paul. I'm just me. Can God use me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're talking about mindsets and what you've been hearing and what people have been saying and all the negative things you've heard. You got to plow through all that. Amen. And let it go. Yeah. You're a new creature. Old is gone. New is in. Yes. And you start Amen. thinking the way he wants you to think. Yeah. You start seeing yourself the way he wants you to see yourself and not the way people are yeah. seeing you. And not the way people want to mold you and shape you. Right, right. Amen. But the potter says, <laughs> he's the potter with the clay and he's going to shape us the way he wants us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to receive what he has for us. And we're going to press on. Amen. Amen. I'm a nobody. Mm -hmm. I know. You know, when you're by yourself, you know he's saying these things. Remember the battlefield? This is mine. <laughs> and you be thinking these things. I'm nobody. Nobody likes me. Nobody cares. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You have a pity party. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you sure God can use me? Yes. <laughs> Just like Jesus mm -hmm. used the little boy to feed the 5,000. Mm -hmm. What did the little boy have? Lunch. He had a lunch. Five loaves, two fishes. <laughs> he didn't have much, but he made it available for Jesus to use. Yes. What do I have to give him? I don't have anything to give you have yourself. Mm -hmm. Give yourself. Amen. Give of yourself. Yes. Jesus took that and multiplied it and used it. And guess what? He had 12 baskets left over. Yeah. Oh. You know, we try to think. <laughs> we don't have to think for him. We just have to make it available. And he took the lady uh, with the oil. Man. And all just kept coming and coming and coming. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she made it available. Fed the man of God. So we need to make ourselves available. Mm -hmm. Jesus had just healed Peter's mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. He had healed the sick and cast out demons. The next day he went to a desert place 
to rest. <laughs> the people flocked him. Mm. Amen. Jesus went to the city of Galilee to preach. Yeah. They flocked to hear him there now at the Sea of Galilee. That's where our, our text is going to start. And we're not going to finish all this, but you can open your Bibles to uh, Luke chapter 5. And we're going to read verses 1 through 11. And this is where Jesus uh, first calls his disciples. Amen. Mm. So are you there? Yes. Might start off with uh, the call of the first disciples. Mm. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the uh, lake of Genezareth and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. He entered into one of the ships, which was Simon, and he prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and talk to people about out of the ship. Out of the ship. Talk to people. Talk to people out of the ship. So basically, what he's doing is people are crowding him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he asked for the boat or the ship so he can go out, <laughs> so they wouldn't follow him in the water. <laughs> but they followed him all the way to the shore. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They followed him all the way to the shore. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Verse four. Verse four. And when he had fall, uh, when he had left speaking, he said, when he, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and lay it down your nets for a drought. He says, lay down your nets. Mm -hmm. And and Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have nothing, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down What's it say? The nets. The nets. He said nets, plural. Peter says singular. Singular. One. <laughs> One, you know. Uh, where are we now? Six. Okay, six. And when they had uh, done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishing, and their net break. Mm -hmm. and the Amplified talks about it at the point of break. Mm -hmm. And they mocked uh, and and beckoning upon their par partners, which were in the other ship, they should come and uh, help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. Mm -hmm. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at the at Jesus' knees, saying, "Depart from me, for I am sinful man, O Lord." For he was astonished. Mm -hmm. And verse eleven says, "And when they had uh, when they had uh, brought." their ships to the land, they forsook all and followed him. Mm -hmm. Amen? So, yeah. we're talking about this morning. Hmm. That's our mission, is to means to <laughs> spiritual yeah. growth, salvation. Amen? That's what we're here for, to hear the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because we want to grow, because mm -hmm. we want to mature. Verse uh, uh, Romans ten seventeen says, "So then, faithfully come by hearing, faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's why we invite people to church. That's why we pass out tracts. That's why we witness, so that they can hear the good news of the word of God. Yeah. Amen. And come to Christ. And everybody's going to have an invitation, and everybody's going to have a chance to invite Him in and confess Him as Lord and Savior. Yeah. If not, the Bible says not everybody's going to." But at least you had a chance and you heard it and reject or accept. How does God give the word out of a lost and dying world? Answer, he uses whoever, whatever source is available. He is ahead and we're the body. He uses us as the body of Christ, the church, the ones that are available to him. So in verse 2 says Jesus was being pushed into the water by the crowd. They were hungry. They were thirsty for the word of God to preach. That's like saying sick them to a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wanted a front row seat just like us at a concert. Just like us at a sporting event or a shopping spree or the movies. Can anybody name something else? I mean, you know. But guess what? 
But never, never, never at church. Front row's always open. Everybody wants to sit in the back. Way in the back. Take the back row. <laughs> Take the back row. <laughs> but it says, now I'm at a concert. Everybody wants to be up front. At a sporting event, man, I want front row. Everything, everywhere else, we want front row. Except church. Nobody wants front row. I guess pastor spits a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be an example. <laughs> Jesus needed a pulpit, so what? He sees the boat. In the boat, he could uh, be both seen and heard. So Jesus uses Simon's boat. Why? Because it was available. He asked Simon. Simon Peter. Use his boat. He said, sure. Take him out. And he, and he, and he went out. I mean, that old smelly, stinking uh, fish boat. Oh boy. God will use whatever we make available yes, to Him. I mean, are we listening to this? God will use whatever we make available to Him. Yes. Amen. We're going to be stopping here and uh, continuing this. But notice, Jesus didn't demand the use of the boat. That's right. He didn't just take it. Mm -hmm. He asked. Yes. And Simon Peter made it available. Yes, he did. Amen. He made it available. Peter could have refused. Jesus doesn't force us to be an instrument in the process of leading others to Christ. He may make us wish we had or yield to his will, but he won't force us. He uses only what is made available to him. But let's remember that. We have lots of things. We hear something else on that back over there talking about things we can give and make available. We can make available these things. Amen. Notice how... Uh, in verse 3, uh, 5 3 says, Out of little from the land. He went out little from the land and launched out into the deep. Amen. Listen here is when we make available the little we have, we will lead, He will lead us into deeper and greater blessings. Don't give up if you're not winning 10 people to the Lord every month or every day <laughs> or every year. Don't give up even if you're not trying. To win people to the Lord. Jesus won't ask you to launch into the deep. Until you first go out a little from the land. Step out in faith. Jesus will lead you one step at a time. One day at a time. Amen. Amen. Just know that he is with you. Wherever you go. Wherever you happen to go. He is with you. Every Christian here would like to lead their people to Christ. But we won't. Amen. And that's okay. But you don't give up. Maybe your ministry isn't to be the last link of the chain but repeat but repeating part maybe and every thought of leading someone to Christ makes you say I just can't do it the key what is the key you've got to make yourself available first with what you have then you can go deeper and further with him but you what you do has to do first first you have to make yourself available First, you have to let Jesus into your boat life or your boat, which is your life. you got to let him in. If you never accept it, you know, we're going to stop right here and we're going to continue yes. that. And then we're going to continue this. It's what you make available to him. Uh -huh. Have you made yourself available to him? Basically, if you've never accepted Christ, now's the time. You know, we're not going to close until we give the opportunity. Now's the time. You know, if you've never accepted him, all you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And from this day on, start living for Him. Start making yourself available to yes. Him. Amen. So praise God. And we can do this. Thank you, Father, for your precious word. Let us apply it as we go and go with you, Father God, and make ourselves available to you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. If you're hurting and uh, you need a touch, from God, we just confess, we, we just rebuke every spirit of infirmity yes. coming against you. The Bible says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So guess what? I'm not accepting any malfunctions in my body. Amen. Sickness, you have to go. Yes. Malfunctions, you have to go. Amen. I don't receive you in my body. By Jesus Christ, I am healed and I'm going to confess my healing right now in the name of Jesus. You can touch that part of your body. Thank you, Father. That we release your healing powers right now from the crown of the head to the soles of our feet, Father. 
And we call ourselves well. We call ourselves healed. Yes. Because the word of God says so. And we're standing on the word. So body, line up with the word of God and be healed. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Thank Praise you, God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And I rejoice in this time of year. Those of you that are watching, those of you listening, uh, you can uh, go to our website. It's up there on the screen. NBCBigBen.com and hit that donate button if you are uh, mailing it to us NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843 Amen? Amen? Praise God. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Praise God. God loves you and we love you. Amen? Make yourself available each and every day to you and step out of faith. Praise God. Amen. <laughs>